A resource-based economy, RBE, as a better social system than the current market system. Introduction. In recent decades, the limitations of the current global market system have become increasingly apparent. From environmental degradation to vast wealth inequality, it has become clear that capitalism, driven by a profit-based market, is not always the most efficient or just method of resource allocation. One alternative that has gained attention is the resource-based economy, RBE, a social and economic system that operates on the efficient distribution of resources based on their availability and need, rather than through monetary exchange and profit motives. A resource-based economy stands in stark contrast to the market-based system and is often misunderstood or misrepresented as akin to oppressive regimes such as communism or Nazism. However, a deeper examination shows that these criticisms are unfounded, as an RBE does not rely on authoritarian control or class warfare, but rather on maximizing the use of technology, sustainable practices, and a focus on improving the human condition without the divisive forces of profit and power. This essay will explore how a resource-based economy could be a superior system for addressing humanity's needs, while also debunking claims that it mirrors historical authoritarian systems. The argument will unfold by first examining the flaws of the current market-based system, followed by a deep dive into the principles of an RBE, and finally addressing common misconceptions and critiques regarding its viability. The flaws of the current market system. Before exploring the merits of a resource-based economy, it is necessary to first understand the shortcomings of the current market-based economy, which is primarily driven by capitalism and neoliberal policies. Wealth inequality. One of the most glaring flaws of the market system is the vast economic inequality that it perpetuates. The richest 1% of the world's population owns nearly 50% of the world's wealth, while millions still live in extreme poverty. The profit motive encourages a concentration of resources and power in the hands of a few, often at the expense of the many. Corporations prioritize shareholders' profits over workers' wages, leading to stagnant wages for the working class while executives and owners accumulate massive wealth. This leads to social stratification, resentment, and diminished quality of life for vast portions of the population. Environmental degradation. The market system is based on continuous growth, which inherently leads to the depletion of natural resources. Corporations exploit the environment for short-term profit, with little concern for sustainability. Deforestation, Ocean acidification and greenhouse gas emissions are direct consequences of an economy that prioritizes profit over environmental well-being. Despite the presence of environmental regulations and green initiatives, the current system largely incentivizes practices that harm the planet. Climate change is arguably the biggest existential threat to humanity, and the market system has proven incapable of mitigating it in a meaningful way. Consumerism and planned obsolescence the market system thrives on consumerism, encouraging people to buy more, often unnecessarily, to keep the economy growing. This consumerist culture is fostered by advertising, social status, and the artificial desire for the latest products. Additionally, companies often engage in planned obsolescence, intentionally designing products with a limited lifespan to ensure repeat purchases. This not only wastes resources but also contributes to environmental pollution. Misallocation of resources. The market system is driven by monetary exchange, meaning that access to resources depends on purchasing power rather than need. Those with more money can buy more than they need, while others struggle to afford basic necessities such as food, water, and healthcare. This creates inefficiencies in how resources are distributed, with excess in some areas and scarcity in others. Principles of a resource-based economy. A resource-based economy seeks to address these issues by fundamentally altering how resources are allocated, produced, and consumed. Instead of relying on money, prices, and profit motives, an RBE bases its economy on the intelligent management of Earth's resources, ensuring that everyone's needs are met in an equitable and sustainable way. The fundamental principles of an RBE are as follows. Access over ownership. In a resource-based economy, resources are shared based on need rather than ownership. The emphasis shifts from accumulating wealth to ensuring that everyone has access to life's necessities. This concept is not limited to food, water and shelter but extends to education, healthcare, 
transportation, and even luxury goods. This system would eliminate the artificial scarcity created by the market, as resources are distributed equitably based on their availability and human need, using advanced tracking technologies to monitor resource levels in real time. Technological innovation and automation. One of the central pillars of an RBE is the use of technology to automate production and distribution processes. Automation can eliminate the need for menial labor, freeing individuals to pursue education, creativity, and leisure activities. Moreover, technology in an RBE would be used to make production more efficient and sustainable. Robotics, artificial intelligence, and advanced machinery can significantly reduce waste, optimize energy usage, and ensure that the environment is preserved for future generations. Sustainability and environmental stewardship. Unlike the market system, an RBE places environmental sustainability at its core. Every decision made within this framework considers the impact on the planet, prioritizing renewable energy, recycling, and sustainable agriculture. By eliminating the profit motive, an RBE ensures that production is not driven by the need to sell more goods, but by meeting the real needs of the population without exhausting resources. For example, products would be designed for durability and efficiency, not obsolescence, which would drastically reduce waste. Resource allocation based on need. In an RBE, resources are allocated based on the availability of materials and the needs of the population. Sophisticated systems would track the levels of various resources and distribute them efficiently, ensuring that no one goes without while preventing hoarding or overuse. Decisions about production and resource management would be based on scientific research and data, with the aim of maintaining balance between consumption and the Earth's capacity to replenish its resources. Education and lifelong learning. An RBE would focus on educating people to become problem solvers and critical thinkers rather than mere participants in a labor market. Since people wouldn't need to work for survival, education would be pursued for personal development and societal benefit rather than for economic gain. Lifelong learning would be encouraged with easy access to knowledge in all fields, empowering people to contribute to society in ways that align with their passions and talents. Global collaboration instead of competition. A resource-based economy would foster collaboration on a global scale, as countries and communities would no longer be in competition for limited resources. The emphasis would be on solving shared problems, such as climate change or disease, rather than outcompeting each other economically or militarily. By eliminating borders and resource access and focusing on global welfare, an RBE promotes peace and unity across nations reducing conflicts driven by scarcity and competition. Addressing criticisms. Is RBE similar to oppressive systems like communism or Nazism? Critics often conflate a resource-based economy with historical authoritarian systems like communism or Nazism, arguing that any system that removes the market and money will inevitably lead to tyranny. However, this comparison is misleading for several reasons. An RBE fundamentally differs in its structure, goals and methods of resource distribution, as well as its commitment to personal freedom, innovation and sustainability. Non-hierarchical structure. Unlike communism and Nazism, which relied on strict hierarchies and centralized power, an RBE does not depend on authoritarian control. In fact, it advocates for a decentralized approach with decisions based on data, science and community input, rather than top-down commands from a ruling elite. In an RBE, leadership would be meritocratic and transparent, with experts in fields like ecology, engineering, and sociology working together to solve problems. The absence of a profit motive in political power struggles reduces the incentive for corruption and abuse of authority. Focus on technology and efficiency. While communism sought to create equality by redistributing wealth and abolishing private ownership, it often led to economic inefficiency and stagnation. The RBE, by contrast, emphasizes the use of cutting-edge technology to create abundance and optimize resource use. Automation, advanced logistics, and AI would ensure that resources are distributed efficiently, removing the need for bureaucratic control over production, which plagued authoritarian regimes. The system is self-regulating through technology, not dependent on a central government imposing quotas or directives. Freedom of choice and personal development. 
One major concern people have about a system like an RBE is the potential loss of personal freedom. However, the goal of an RBE is to maximize human freedom, not restrict it. In a world where basic needs are met without the need for money, people would have far more freedom to pursue their passions and interests. Unlike communism, which often led to repression of individual creativity and enterprise, an RBE would encourage innovation, arts, and intellectual growth. Without the constraints of wage labor or market competition, people are free to collaborate, create, and explore new possibilities without fear of poverty or exploitation. Sustainability versus militarism and expansionism. Nazism and similar regimes relied on aggressive expansion and militarism, motivated by notions of racial superiority and domination. In contrast, an RBE is based on sustainability, peace, and collaboration. It seeks to bring balance between human society and the environment, ensuring long-term survival rather than short-term conquest or exploitation. Resource wars, a common cause of conflict in both the past and present, would become irrelevant in an RBE, as resources would be managed globally and shared equitably. This stands in stark opposition to the militaristic nature of fascist and totalitarian systems. Voluntary participation and democratic processes. Another misconception is that an RBE would force people into compliance with a single system. However, an RBE is voluntary. It would evolve naturally as people see the benefits of this system compared to the failing market economy. Communities would adopt RBE principles based on consensus and evidence, rather than coercion. The system would be built around participatory democracy, with local and global input into how resources are managed. This contrasts with the authoritarian nature of both communism and fascism, where power was concentrated in a few hands, often resulting in oppression and violence. Challenges to implementing a resource-based economy While a resource-based economy offers a compelling alternative to the current market system, there are significant challenges to implementing such a model on a global scale. These challenges include transitioning from the current system. Moving from a market-based economy to a resource-based one would require massive systemic changes. There would be resistance from those who benefit most from the current system, including corporations and governments that wield power through money and markets. Moreover, people are accustomed to the existing structures of trade, ownership, and work. Convincing the global population to embrace a radically different system would require a shift in cultural values, education, and awareness. Technological feasibility. While technology plays a central role in the vision of an RBE, the development and implementation of the necessary technologies would take time and significant resources. Automation, AI, and renewable energy sources are advancing, but the infrastructure to support an RBE globally would need careful planning and widespread collaboration. Ensuring that all communities have access to these technologies is another challenge, especially in developing countries where infrastructure is often lacking. Overcoming skepticism and misconceptions. As mentioned earlier, many people equate a resource-based economy with failed authoritarian systems like communism, making it difficult to gain widespread support. Overcoming these misconceptions requires education and clear communication about how an RBE fundamentally differs from these regimes. Additionally, skeptics argue that human nature, with its tendency toward greed and self-interest, would make an RBE unworkable. However, supporters of RBE believe that if basic needs are met and competition for resources is eliminated, cooperation and altruism would naturally flourish. Conclusion A resource-based economy presents a promising alternative to the market system, which has proven to be unsustainable and unjust for much of the global population. By focusing on the intelligent management of resources, the use of technology and equitable access for all, an RBE addresses many of the core problems of capitalism, such as wealth inequality, environmental degradation, and resource misallocation. Moreover, the claims that an RBE would lead to an authoritarian or oppressive society, akin to communism or Nazism, are unfounded. An RBE is based on principles of decentralization, technological innovation, personal freedom, and sustainability. It rejects the hierarchical, militaristic, and coercive structures of past authoritarian systems and offers a vision of a collaborative, peaceful, and abundant future for humanity. While there are challenges to implementing a resource-based economy, the potential benefits are vast.
As the world continues to grapple with the failures of the market system, the idea of a resource-based economy deserves serious consideration as a viable path toward a more just and sustainable world.